Hi, well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. It's just a short video, this, um, a follow up. It's, this is part four of the Jimitsu LC40, the 10 watt. Now, I've got it set up here. Um, I have got it working on uh, Lightburn. Um, I did mat on the last video. I showed you that it wouldn't flash from the PC, but you can actually flash it from your phone to GRBL, which did successfully. And then I got it up and running on Lightburn, and it also works on Laser GRBL. Um, but I use Lightburn, so it's up and running. Um, I've got a, um, I bought a honeycomb panel for it. Um, which is in situ and it's it's mounted in some feet that's on a piece of plywood now as you were aware on the other video um, there, there were a couple of uh, I think it was on part two um, I didn't like the fact that you've got the laser pointer showing which is good because you can line it up but unfortunate with this unit you cannot line it up because you can't see it there's a sticker on the front of it and you can't see through that you can see it from the back but you can't see it from the front it's a waste of time that should be a um, that sticker should not be there um, and you might have a chance of, well you probably would be able to see it um, a little bit I haven't tried it because um, I put the uh, laser head on, got it set up, got light burnt up and running and then tried it and nothing, you couldn't see anything so um, I decided on I'm going to do something that will enable you to actually see that um, and plus the other thing is I actually did a sample cut and what I did notice was on the other side because it's got a, a built-in positive um, sort of um, air assist um, I noticed a build-up of residue on the underside of one of the plates and um, well that was only after a, a, a four inch cut out four inch square cut on some three mil plywood um, so I didn't like that so I thought right I'm I'm gonna put an air assist on it so I've put an air assist on built one in and I'll, I'll just show you now what it what it looks like I'll just tip it down I'll just take it out of here out of the right here we have the air assist as you can see it goes through a, a hole in the in the face I've taken the sticker off in the face of that panel there now it's stuck on there and this this is silicon tubing it needs to be silicon tubing um, I've printed a 3d nozzle um, on the printer inside there now this passes down the hose the sorry the hose passes down the cabling as you can see and on the back side of it it's got some self adhesive clips it runs around there there's not a problem right this is as good and I'm using the X tool because the X tool is actually sat underneath this is sat on top of the X tool I'm actually using the X Tool D1's air assist. Um, so I just swapped them over. Um, this is set up. I've just I've shown you what I'll, I'll show you what I've just done. The, I pulled the the template off that I have for this, um, and I, I've used this on the X Tool and but it's slightly larger on the X tool this is smaller 
I don't want to try and catch a shadow there, but um, whoop, let's have a look. See if I can get it. It's a bit awkward here. Yeah, got it there. Hope oh, that's clear. Um, but that is pin sharp. But size it is, we can see me thumb outside of it. Now that's done on the same settings. And if you look, it's cut through, and there's no burning on the back. Um, and if anything. I'm running this at the same settings for the 10 watt Xtil D1 and I can run, I know I can run this faster on the cut one on the on the actual cutout of the pattern I can run it quicker on this than I can the Xtil so this seems to be um, whether it's look or, or um, I don't know um, but this seems to be cutting better than the X2 as I say I'm over the moon I'm going to show you cut actually and, and I'm going to show you this actually running this is my um, fan that I have set up extractor fan and it's below a magnet 3D printed nozzle and it sits on the honeycomb and then it's because obviously the I'll just show you around the back of that. You can see the bottom of the laser module. That's where the cutout is. All right, so yes, you would have been able to. See, if that had been the other way around, not only would you have seen the laser, but you'd have seen the spot as well. So all the the venting comes out this way. You do get some at the back. But, sorry, at the front side to me, but. Um, yeah, them's the feet that I printed off and I've printed riser blocks which slot in insert inside there so you can lift it up if necessary but um, I'll just, just bear with me and I'll put you back and turn the fan on now what I'm going to do is I'll just Sending it over, I'm using absolute coordinates. Now, if you're looking, I'm hoping you can see it, but you might just be able to see it through that because there's no sticker there. I, I will take this off and show you the air assist now. But when I do a framing, well, it will come on as a pointer so you know where you're framing. You can just see that, it's crystal clear, so you can line it up. Right. I'll fill it to start the job now. As I say, I'm, it's, I'm not showing you the programme really, the light burning operation, because it's, this, it's all about this unit. my laser glasses on um, I mean as far as the what it does and the accuracy of it and the, and the cost for this I don't think there's I've come across and I've, I've read lots of reviews and various um, laser machines and Engravers, but this is exceptionally good for the price that it is. The build, the functioning, but I wish they had to come up with an air assist for it. And um, it's pointless having that pointer showing when you can't see it because the metal plates inside they actually stop you from seeing that because they come, they block the block the back of this. Um, red panel. But I just printed a nozzle off, did that, silicon hose, and as I say, it has to be silicon hose because it's got to be so flexible.
Um, it's smooth. The tune itself is so quiet. I mean, you'll hear the fan, um, of which I can't do anything about. Um, the fan above, the air this is so it's, it's quite a bit of noise. But I'm hoping you can hear my voice. As I say, this is the same settings. It's on. Let me show you what it's on. Three thousand millimeters per minute for the line engraving. At eighty-five percent power, and it's on a hundred and eighty millimeters per minute at hundred percent power for the cut when it cuts outside. And I know now that I can up that to over 200, just over 200. But if I did that with the X tool, you'd find places where it might not have just cut through. really pleased with it but I, as I say I haven't heard back from Saint Smart yet as regards um, the problem with the flashing of the firmware um, I'm no doubt they will get back in touch with me um, and as I say this PC works most of my I'm a PC over there for the um, K40, another PC which you use solely for the engraver and CNC over there, and this uses the X2, um, and they're doing the 3D printers on it because I've got 3D printers in there. So, and as you say, it connects up, it's working, it's working on there. So, why does it not allow it to flash the firmware? So, I can't go back now on this back to the mobile app which is quite good really um, I just can't do it it's pretty cold in here at the moment I've got my workshop door open and it's about minus two so now that's on the cut one Now it's the X2, I tried it on 200 with the X2, it's 3mm ply, and it's good ply, and it, at 200 it'll, it might leave feathering attached to the other set, to the edges, um, so I knocked it down to 180 and it actually cuts it clean as the X2. I could run this at 210, maybe 220, and it'll still cut through. So the laser unit is exceptionally good. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking the X2. That's put together well. And it's, um, you know, it does what it says on the tin. But there's something about this machine that I like. Just how it's put together, everything, the feel of it, how it performs. The honeycomb bed I think cost me about it's a four hundred by four hundred and I put two white clips there, plastic clips and two clips there, and it holds it in square. There you are, it's finished. And as you can see that, like that, got through. There you go. Right, I said I'd show you the uh, air nozzle. 
there's this nozzle that I've printed so bear with me because I'm gonna have to do this one hand but it does come off easy as you can see right that's see that's the 3d printed air assist nozzle comes out of the front why they haven't done this I don't know and if you look at the it's about eight mil from the bottom of the plastic colored fascia protection screen so and then you've got five mil so you've at least 13 mil 14 mil away from the material so there's no problems with the plastic um, this is made out of hips so but you can see it's uh and it works a treat there's no markings on or burning at all on on that nozzle it's spot on um so yeah um but i'm gonna print a few off uh, and then as uh, they get discolored a little bit because they will um now you can just change them but that's the air assist nozzle so that's looking from the back side so it'd be like that so yeah and uh, that's the air assist nozzle pop that, that down I'll pop that back on now um, as I say they're very very simple to I don't think the, the, the actual knob here has been uh, altered slightly bigger um, from what I can see in the other units um, just drop it down a bit further There we go, and it's a simple case. Clip back in. My hands are that cold. That's it, back in. Just tighten that now. That's it. Back up. Back up and running. So that's from there. Well, as I say, um, I did want to show you that. So you know that it can be done and it in and it's quite neat and it works. Just turn this off. As I say, it's only a short video, I did want to show you it all working and that it will work on light burn. Um don't know about I have the the roller for it. Um but unfortunately I've tried that and I cannot get it to work on light burn the roller with it it works perfectly with the um, app software on the PC as well as the mobile app but unfortunately I can't go back to that now that's it unless they come up with a solution of why I can't flash it back and three PCs would not all be wrong especially when the system's connected and working so but anyway so uh, I've got a busy day today um, and doing the review on the scene the new CNC the 4040 later on uh, well recording it and then I shall obviously um, get it onto uh, uh, YouTube because I think it is it's one of those um, machines that I think a lot of people will, will like and um, I hope they do. I haven't, I haven't opened it or I haven't seen what it's, um, what it's like yet but uh, we'll soon find out. So until next time, as I say, be careful out there, look after yourself. Bye for now.